everyone and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, we will be completing our calculator app that we had started in the previous class. We had finished the front end of our calculator and we were working on the back end, the block section, and we had completed the code for our digit keys. Now we will write the code for our decimal button, our clear button, operator buttons, and equal button code in this class to complete our app. The decimal button code is very similar to our digit keys code. The only difference is that we should not allow more than one decimal to be added to a number. That would not make any sense, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a variable and I'm going to call it decimal added and I'm going to make it false. And every time I'm trying to add a decimal, I will check whether it is false or not. If it is false, we will go ahead and add the decimal. Otherwise, we will not add the decimal, okay? So I'm just going to duplicate my seven button key code. The only thing I am going to do is that I'm going to check if my decimal added is false or not. So I'm just going to get an if block and inside that I'm going to check by using the equal to, I'm going to get the value of decimal added and check whether it is false. If it is false, only then I'm going to do this code. That is at the decimal point, okay? Obviously I have to change it to the decimal point. I'm just using the full stop in the keyboard. The next thing is that whenever a decimal has been added, I have to make decimal added variable to true, okay? So I'm just going to go to my variables, get the set block and set my decimal added to true. So now I've made it true. So in what condition will it be made false so that I'm able to add a decimal point again? Don't forget to change it to decimal button here. Okay. So what are the conditions in which my decimal added will be made false again? Whenever someone presses the equal to button key or when someone presses the clear button, the AC button or when someone presses the operator button. Okay. In those three conditions, our decimal added will be made false so that we can add a decimal point again. Now I'm going to write down the code for the operator key. So it's pretty simple. Let's do it for the division button first. Code is very simple for all the operator keys. Set the operator to the correct symbol. So let me go and copy the division symbol from the designer view, the one that we got from Google. And make sure that you use exactly the same symbol when we are comparing the operators in the equal to button code too. This will make more sense when I'm actually doing the code for the equal button. Okay, so I've set global operator to the division symbol. I'm going to call make question so that our calculator display shows the division symbol there now. And secondly, I am going to set my decimal added to false. Okay. Duplicate the code, multiply button, small x, duplicate, plus, write down plus, duplicate, minus, minus. Okay. Now let's do the clear button code, the AC button. When the clear button is clicked, very simple code for it. We're just going to clear everything. So variables set first number to empty, duplicate, second number, duplicate, operator, duplicate, choose decimal added, but this should be false. So I can duplicate this false from here, the false block. And we have to set the answer text to empty to. So go to answer and set answer text. We can use this empty block here. And last but not the least, we have to reflect the changes on the screen. So call make question. Okay. Now we are coming to the most important part of our code that is the equal to button code. Okay. So when the equal to button is pressed, what should happen? We will be looking inside our operator and depending upon what is inside it, we will 
do that operation on the first number and the second number okay but first thing is that we need to check whether we have the second number or not because equal to button will not make sense if there is no second number so we are first of all going to check if we have a second number so just go to control and get the if block and inside that we are going to do a comparison if our second number is not equal to an empty text block okay this means that we can do an operation on it because we have the second number if it is not equal to empty okay and after that we are just going to check what is the operator what is the value inside the operator and depending upon that we will do the operation okay so i'm just going to go and click on control and then click on this third block i have three conditions that i want to check and the fourth is an else okay so i'm just going to click on this cog wheel so i'm just going to add one more slot to it okay so if else if else if and then else okay three conditions we will check and the fourth condition is default now i just have to check what is inside the operator so i can duplicate this compare block because it is right in front of me and i will choose operator here and i will choose equal to here and i'm just going to duplicate this block because i want to be sure that i am using exact value that i have put inside here so to confirm that thing i'm just going to duplicate the block that i used to set it here okay so if my global operator is equal to multiplication then i'm going to multiply by using the multiplication block from maths the first number and the second number so get first number duplicate second number and i will set it to the answer dot text okay so set answer dot text to the multiplication of first number and second number okay duplicate it again choose the plus block again i'm going to duplicate it so that i have exactly the same thing that i had set there and i am going to get the plus block first number second number okay and let me remove the unused blocks by right clicking and removing the unused blocks so what else again same thing for minus we need the minus block here and let's remove the unused blocks okay we have done multiplication plus and minus the last operator left is division but remember that there can be no division by zero so if the second number is zero we will set the answer to not a number okay so let's go to control and get the if then else block let me make some space for it and inside here i'm going to check if my second number is equal to 0 okay so let's get the compare text block and if my second number is equal to 0 so just type in 0 here and if it is equal to 0 then i'm going to set my answer text to not a number to not a number okay otherwise i am going to do the calculation okay so just duplicate this one and instead of that we need the division block so this slash one is the division block so just get this one put the first number here and the second number here right click to remove the unused blocks okay so what next at the end we are going to set the first number to answer dot text so that the user can continue calculating for example 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and then 9 should become the first number and then the user can continue with the calculation okay i'm going to set my first number to answer 
dot text and I am going to empty my second number and empty my operator. Okay, and I am also going to make my decimal added to be false, the variable decimal added. Okay, so let's just duplicate it from the division button code and make it false. Okay. So we're done with our basic simple calculator app and you can customize it and add more operations to it. I hope you like this video. Do share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because it will encourage me to make more videos and tutorials like this. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.